the event landscape in our city is going to look very different for the foreseeable future. A number of events have been canceled this year due to the pandemic. Also, President Trump was talking today about the pandemic somewhat. We will break it all down for you on Eyewitness News at 6. And hello, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington here in the studio of CBS3. And hi, everyone. I'm Jessica Cartalia. City officials also say they do not expect fans to be in the stands if the Eagles can play this season. The health commissioner says that he thinks it will be safe for the team to play, but without spectators. Matt Petrillo has more on the decision to cancel large-scale events. What we are doing here is following medical advice. Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney announced Tuesday there will be no floats lining the Benjamin Franklin Parkway Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> And the mummers won't be strutting down the street New Year's Day. All public events of 50 or more people in Philly are canceled until at least March. You know, the whole idea behind canceling big events in an epidemic like this uh, makes a lot of sense. Philly's health commissioner, Dr. Tom Farley, made the decision after seeing COVID spikes in some states, he says reopened too quickly. Plus, a lesson was learned from 1918 when Philadelphia held a World War I parade despite the Spanish flu pandemic. Thousands of parade watchers were later infected. The failure to cancel that parade way back in 1918 is still in the memory of everybody in public health. The Philadelphia Marathon is also canceled. Runners, though, can get a refund from that. <laughs> But the Blue Cross Broad Street run is not offering refunds. The run was originally scheduled for May and later scheduled for October. Organizers say medals and T-shirts and other items were already purchased for it. So instead, the Broad Street run will now be virtual. So all the runners will be able to run their 10 miles in the comfort of their own neighborhood or go to their local running spot and uh, that way they'll be able to get their shirts and their medals and finish their certificate and all that kind of thing. And Broad Street runners will also get an automatic entry for next year, plus 20% off the entry fee. In Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.